I have a OnePlus Nord N200 here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. First thing you turn on your phone, you should get this hello here and you can choose your language. Here, I'm going to go with uh, English in the US is fine, so I'm going to tap on start now. Terms and conditions, you can redo that, but you must agree to proceed. So I'm going to tap on agree and I agree again. Connect to mobile network. Basically, they're asking you to go ahead and put your uh, SIM or network card in now. You can do this now or you can do this later. I'm going to proceed without doing it now. I'm going to do it later and I'll make another video how to insert the SIM card as well as the SD card. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this, which is perfectly fine. Connect to Wi-Fi. I will connect it to this now so I can get the latest update. Find your network uh, ID, then put in your password. After you put in your password, tap on connect. Obtaining IP address, connecting, checking for updates. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, basically your Gmail account, and more. If you want to go and proceed with that, you can go ahead and click on next. For me, I want a fresh install here, so I'm just going to click on don't copy for me. Google account sign in. This is your Gmail here. You can go ahead and sign in now or you can skip and sign in later i'm just going to skip and i'll just go ahead and sign in later tap on skip right there google services uh, use location allow scanning send usage and dyna uh, diagnostic data to google now this all here is optional you can uh, toggle those on or off for me i'm fine with all of these on it's perfectly fine but it's up to you okay i'm going to tap on accept down here uh, review additional apps. Let me tap on OK. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. And here, this is the uh, co-creation labs. Participate in OnePlus co-creation user programs to get the latest information and a better system experience. Now, this is up to you. Okay, you can go ahead and agree to it, or you can skip it. For me, I'm not interested. I'll just go ahead and skip it. But again, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, disagree. Uh, set screen lock, basically a password. You can skip this or do it now. I would recommend to do it now. So I'm going to go ahead and put a four digit pin here, basically my password. After you put in your four digits, tap on next, and then you're going to have to retype in that same pin again. And then tap on confirm. And for your lock, your, uh, lock screen when your phone is actually locked, how do you want the lock screen to display? By default, it shows show all notification content. That's what I want, but you also have some choices down here. You can even go uh, don't show notification at all, or you can go with show all notifications now, and then you can disable it later or whatnot. Okay, I'm fine with showing all of them, at least for now. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on done right there. Unlock with fingerprint password. You can also put a finger password. You can go ahead and skip this now, or you don't ever have to do it, but I would recommend it's good to have not only the pin, but the uh, fingerprint too. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on next. We're gonna go ahead and do it. And the fingerprint scanner uh, is gonna be right here on the power button, okay? So again, it's right there. So what I'm gonna do is press, put my finger on that. On, off, vibrates, off, vibrates, off, and just keep on going until everything fills up and just keep on going okay now i want to do the edge of my finger tap on next and now do the edge okay fingerprint added now from here you can go ahead and add a uh, another finger or to another hand you can even add a toe in there if you want okay anyway i i i'm good with just my thumb some of you guys may want to put your index finger as well what kind of font do you want? This one here or this one here? I'm fine with the default here. It's a little bit darker, so I prefer that one right there. This is the navigation bar and gestures. I mean, you can do right here where you have to slide up for the home screen, or you can tap down here where you actually have like a home button, okay? For me, I'm fine with this. You can always switch back and forth later on as well, but I'm fine with the uh, navigation gestures here. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. And because I picked the navigation gestures, this is a quick tutorial, you know, how I go back, how do I go to the home screen to swipe up, recent, swipe up and hold. So let me go ahead and start that right now and back. So what I'm going to do is if you want to go back, you can go this way like that, or you can go that way. Now for the home button, what you want to do is just swipe up basically like that. 
And now for the recents menu, basically everything that's running, all the apps running in your background, what you want to do from the bottom, just scroll up and then let go. Setup is complete. Let me go ahead and tap on start right there. Voila, you guys are in business. Now, if you want to know how to install the uh, SIM card, look on the next video. All right, good luck.